Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another vlog. My name is Haywood, AKA the Renaissance Man. And if you're new here, guys, is it fogging up again? Not again, not again. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button, join the EVS crew, turn on your notifications, likes, comment down below, all that good stuff, guys. Yo, we got an exciting day today, so let's get started. They're still here. Well. Well, don't be like that. Why do you always sound like you're so upset to see me, but we both know you like being on camera. That's true. What's up? Ah, what are you doing? Untangling wires. What are these wires for? Speakers. We're about to turn this place into a club. Where's your speakers at? They're behind the lift. I only brought out two because I think it's more than enough power. Oh, God. Bro, what the f The wires are trying to attack you. Are you okay? Did the... Did the bad man hurt you? Yo, if we turn this to a club, we could use your couches as like sections, you know? Like people will buy like sections like... It's like you, you can buy this section, yeah. you can buy that section. Exactly, oh, bro. Jesus. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? Uh, I'm gonna finish this car. Alright, so we got the front bumper done, right? It's got this black thing that, with this black swoop that goes all the way to the other side. So eventually this is gonna connect to this. And it's actually coming back down here. This is gonna be black as well. And as you can tell, we already made this part black down here, and that swoops up. This part will be connected from here to here, so it almost like creates two two flowing rivers. And we got the back done too. I didn't even notice that. We got the back done as well. So the back is done on the other side too. So we're we're moving, guys. We're moving. I have an unboxing for you. This is a little bit different though. This is not this is not a wheel per se, but it does have to do with wheels. These are actually lug nuts. Let me show you. Boston has their own lug nuts and even lug bolts. I just don't have any here, but these are all the lug nuts. Um, they have these for all their wheels and they will fit even other brands. So this is the front of the box. Again, Boston packaging is always on point with the red and the white. Everything looks super clean. Um, you got this clear window showing through all the lug nuts that are inside the box. Right here you have this cool design that Boston has, which is the lug nut. Bottom here it shows you what the lug nuts are made out of, which is Cold Force 7075 aluminum. These are a lot lighter than your normal steel lug nuts. On the side here, a little bit more Boston branding and 20 pieces. In the back here, you have some basic information about lug nuts and how to use them, how to install them, things like that. Letting you know this is a 19mm hex head, the length of the lug nut, and the anti-scratch washer. I'm going to show you what this is, guys. This is really cool. I think for you to really be able to appreciate what this is or why this is so cool, I just show you a regular lug nut so you understand the differences. So this is a typical regular lug nut, right? Just one into a... Come on, focus. I feel like I'm a beauty guru. And I'm using this pattern. Boom. This is a regular lug nut. Um, just normal steel lug nut. As you can tell, these are pretty standard. You can pretty much get these anywhere. One of the major problems with these is, especially if you have really nice wheels, is that whenever you torque these down into your wheels when you're done, you know, putting them on and everything, these typically bite down on your finish, on your wheels. If you have like nice Boston Forge wheels or any six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollar wheels or more, you kind of want to protect the finish since you probably paid a premium for the finish. This is the true beauty of these. On the bottom here, you see this black ring? It spins, can you hear it? This black ring spins and what this does is this actually is an independent washer and this keeps the lug nut from biting down on your finish when you're torquing them. So what that does is it preserves your finish. So if you have, you know, a nice polished, brushed, transparent finish that costs maybe a thousand dollars extra or whatever, you're not going to damage it like you would with something like this that will definitely bite into it over time. And especially after, you know, you do a bit of tire rotation or changing tires, it's going to, it's going to look kind of bad. But besides that, let's just talk about other parts of this that makes it so cool. So on the front of the lug nut, you have a red V for Vossen. Uh, on the side, you have Vossen branding. And on the other side, you have the size of the lug nut. So this is a 14 by 1.5. So this is great for like Teslas. This is great for uh, Mustangs, a lot of Fords. Um, most cars will take this if they take lug nuts. But of course, if your car is not this, do not worry. They do have 12 by 1.5, 12 by 1.25 and they do even have these in the Bolt versions as well for like European cars like Mercedes and BMWs. But I know what you're thinking, you're probably like, well, hey, well, that's all nice and fancy and everything, but like, what about locks? I need locks. Don't worry, I got you. Oh my God, oh my God, don't worry, I got you. Look, I have matching 
locks. This is sold separately from the lug nuts. So if you just want the lug nuts, you can just get that. If you want the locks too, you can get that separately. You don't have to get it. It's up to you. Not a big deal. But if you do want to protect your wheels, I say you should get them. Why not, right? Especially if you have nice wheels. No one wants to wake up in the morning with their car on bricks, right? Anyways, so you got normal red white packaging like you saw. Here's the back side. Uh, just some more info, again, for people who may not have installed lug nuts before or locks before. Just some basic info on that. <clears throat> Nothing on the side or the top or the other side. So on the inside, you have some instructions on how to torque them down if you never knew how. Star pattern, guys. Star pattern. So as you can see, these look very similar to these. These are the same, pretty much. The only difference that you'll notice is that these have a different sort of spline grooving to it versus these. This will obviously take a normal 19 millimeter hex head, whereas this will take a special key. And that special key is this. Look at that, it even has Voss and Brang on it. So these four that you see here will require this key to take them off, uh, which makes them unique because obviously this key is unique, you won't get this key anywhere else. So every kit has their own unique key. So when you buy it, you'll know that your key is specific to just this kit. So yesterday I sort of ended the vlog with a tease. So I'm gonna show you what we're doing with this car today since it's a new vlog, right? We got time now, let me show you. So we actually had this car in not too long ago before we started doing the vlogging, but basically this is one of our clients' car. We actually wrapped the entire car in clear guard nano, the paint protection film, rock chip scratches, things like that. It's protected against from bumper, like what I'm touching right now, to even the carbon fiber pieces like the hood here. This is wrapped, um, the mirrors are wrapped, the fenders, the roof, all the way back, even the wing is wrapped. So for example, what I'm touching right here, this is wrapped. So you're probably wondering, hey Wood, how did you wrap this with the stickers? Well, let me tell you. Took the stickers off and we wrapped it, then we put new stickers on. Yes, the attention to detail is magnificent. Matching green interior with the fire extinguisher because this thing is lit. Oh. I know the windows are rolled down, but we did do photo sync on this. But you can tell from here, we did photo sync on this, photo sync on the front windshield as well. And we also added some tech or carbon fire pieces like this. This was just like plastic matte black. We took that out and now this is carbon fiber. Look at the weaving, it's always perfect, always straight. That's what we use, we don't use eBay stuff. Originally these vents here were actually just black pieces, matte black pieces, just like this that you see. Just like that, plain black pieces. But what we did was we installed new tech art carbon fiber pieces. So this is a cool thing I like about it. It's not just these three pieces, right? It's also this piece that got replaced. This, 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 this all the way to the last one. So they're all carbon fiber now. Look how much better that looks. God, I just, I feel like we should do this next. It looks out of place now, doesn't it guys? What is he doing? Is he, is he even checking out the car? So he looks like he's hiding from someone. What is he doing? Summon it, summon it, summon it. Okay, let me summon it. Oh, oh, oh my god, he's so scared. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yo, let's check back in with the guys doing the Model X, see how it's coming along. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. So the front bumper is done, the fender's done. Look at that line, see that, that satin gloss shine to it? That is so sick. So this is done, this needs to be done. This is done, this is done. Wow, this looks really good. This needs to be worked on next, and then the top as well. The stripes are coming along, they're almost done. Well, they are done actually. Now we're doing this, so this is gonna wrap all the way to the end. This is a reflective white tape, so at night time it's gonna light up like crazy. So we're doing this right from the tip of the hood all the way to the end of the bumper, rear bumper over there. This means that this whole strip is gonna light up. All right, bro, what do you got for me, man? Tell me. Uh, I don't know, a rear spoiler for a Model 3? You yeah. are wrong. What? This is a side skirt for a Ford Raptor. Thick and bulky looking. It adds some substance. This is nice. Look at that. Oh, I like this section right here. Yeah. That is fat. All right, guys, that's it for today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Join the EBS crew. Hey, yo, let me know in the comments down below what you want to see more of. And hit that little bell that allows you to know, hey, a vlog is up.
guys. Thank you so much. I will see you tomorrow. Peace.